Yeah, um, yeah. So how long, how long have you been working um, at your current job? Because this is your uh, first tech job or no? Yes. Yeah, it is my first tech job. I've been here about four months, but I have been doing the same thing for free for other people for a very long time. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, like, you know, there's like an auntie who shows up and it's like, oh, I don't know okay, how okay, to okay, do okay, my okay. email. And then okay, you know, like you. you show them and then you sit there for three hours helping them do it because they need their handheld, which is fine. Someone had to teach me how to use a spoon. It's fine. Right, right. Um, <laughs> that's how I have to think about it. You know, if you don't think about it like that, because at my at my job, I work with a lot of older ladies. <laughs> right. They don't. My best ones are the ones, the ones I love the most are the ones who are wanting to learn. <laughs> they may not get it. They may not retain it, but they want to learn. Right. And then there's ones that are, you know, you know, they're faking the ignorance because they don't want to do it. Mm. <laughs> so my favorite ones are the ones who are like, I, I'm sorry. I don't get it. I know you taught me this last week. Help me again. And I'm like, got it. You got it, Auntie. Now, um, another thing, um, one thing that you brought up, um, <laughs> uh, just for anybody watching this, is don't be that old person that doesn't want to learn or don't be that young person that don't want to learn. Don't be that middle-aged person that don't want to learn because <laughs> right now and going into the future, technology is not slowing down. It's not stopping. And if you continue to be lazy, if you continue not to learn, your job will literally be automated. Because um, mm -hmm. if you, especially if you're just doing some uh, button press and stuff, so stuff like that, uh, you're probably going to get replaced. So just make sure that if it's something new, if it's something um, different, just try it, try it out at least instead of just, you know, just shutting down. I don't get it. I don't know how to do it um, because the Internet isn't going anywhere. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if uh, Mark's uh, Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse. I'm not sure if that's going to come to uh, fruition the way he wants it to, at least. But um, things are definitely going to keep on moving um, oh, yeah. at a fast pace. Now, one thing I did want to say, though, is how did you feel with the teaching aspect or the leadership aspect or showing other people, you know, hey, this is how it goes. Do you like that part or would you rather just be on the technical side or what you think? Um, I really love people, <laughs> okay. um, which is kind of unfortunate in the Tourette's thing, because that means that it was, it has been a hindrance. Um, mm. It can be a hindrance because uh, I love people, but I can't do high people facing jobs because of other people <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, me, right. But because of their reactions to what I do. Cause they don't get it. And I can't always, I'm not always able to under, uh, to explain what I'm doing um, because I've lost my speech. <laughs> um, so I actually really love teaching people. It's fun. Um, I get a little frustrated sometimes, but that's mostly from the people who just they're they're They've already started getting frustrated because they like don't know how to right click or something. And, they and should, so, no. but then, yeah, but then it's on me. Right. Cause then I have to be like, okay, what is your level of tech savvy? Are you using that magic mouse? Nobody knows how to use apparently. Uh, <laughs> She ends up almost always being the case, you yeah. know, it's like, it's an Apple product that no one knew how to use because they decided to bunk all the other stuff and therefore it has confused everybody. Now, the news gets me paid, but. <laughs> one thing I wanted to talk about um, is what certification, right? Because uh, you said you need to get papered up. What certification did you start with? Like, what's the first one that you started with? And do you think that was a, a good choice to start with that certification? Um, I first got the ITF, Okay. um, which I'm going to be real honest. I didn't learn very much from, <laughs> um, but again, I've known people who this would have been great for, you know, just not me, <laughs> right, but I'm right. glad I, I'm still glad I did it, you mm -hmm. know, um, because then I, cause honestly the, the actual test itself is really daunting. Like you show up, you have to put in your fingerprint, you have to, they take pictures of you. You're like, what? It was easier to open a bank account what's, and get my social security card. What's going on? Um, so it's the, the test is really intimidating, especially if you go in in person. And it's almost as bad when you do it in like at home, right? Because the one that I passed, right? My closest, my closest testing center for a CompTIA was, was like an hour and a half away. I had to go. Yeah, I had to go over the freeway to go there. Um, and after driving that long, <laughs> um, I wasn't going to be in the brain space to test anyway. 
So right. the one I did in a passing, I did at home. I'll be doing it at home in the future. Awesome. Um, but I did take my first two there, my first two tests. Now, while, now while we there uh, really fast, so since you did the in-person and the uh, online thing, you did you did do one in person, right? Yes, I did two in person. I failed one of them. Okay, got you. So, <laughs> um, so the first time you took A plus was in person. Yes. Okay. So did ITF in first A plus. What's some I tips? Passed. Not necessarily the actual exam, but is there anything that people can do to better prepare if they are going to going in person? Is there anything they could do uh, to kind of calm themselves to make it less stressful? Any tips as far as that's concerned? Yeah. Um, I also realized I counted wrong. So that was ICF, A plus one passed, A plus two failed, A plus two passed. <laughs> so I've done it four times. Um, okay, okay. So how, how, many, how many times you do it in person? Three. Okay. Damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three. So, so ITF, A plus one, A plus two, and then I did the A plus two and passed it at home. Got you. Okay. Got you. Got you. Um, so any tips, okay. anything? I mean, I wish I could be more specific about it, but really you have to kind of know how your anxiety works. Mm. Um, uh, Cause nothing that nothing I can say with a broad brush is going to probably help. It's like, uh, know your stuff. Another thing, um, cause studying real hard, it's never really like studying before the test has never really helped me that much. Like real hard because um, it freaks me out <laughs> on yep. top of it. And then I can no longer remember it when I need it. Yep. Cause then I'm remembering whatever, you know, um, uh, this <sighs> make sure you have enough information to where you'll be able to forget some stuff and still pass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, cause that is the downside of bare bones is that sometimes you don't have enough extra information to remember for, to have Cause like you said earlier, like you're going to forget the good, you're going to forget uh, the stuff you need yeah. and you're, it's going to be replaced with stupid stuff. So make sure you have enough stuff you need to where you can forget the one that you thought you knew, uh, but you can get it on a different one, you know? Gotcha. Um, so aim, aim for that eight fifty, <laughs> not the seven, was it seven thirty, seven fifty? 750? Mm -hmm. I think it's seven fifty for the eight plus. Um, yeah, second part. Yeah. Yeah. So, so aim, for as high as you can get, get as much info as you can in like smart wise, make sure it's stuff you're going to need for sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, one thing, uh, let me piggyback off you really fast. Um, so uh, the ITF, I want to circle back to that really fast. So I don't know how long we've been talking, however long we've been talking, but you can kind of already gather that Cheyenne is uh, a problem solver, a little bit more analytical um, and, the ITF is not easy, right? The ITF is not easy. Um, hopefully, Cheyenne gave you a confidence boost, but don't think you're just going to go in there and uh, yeah. knock it down and kill it because there's been a bunch of people that's been humbled by that because um, you got to understand what you fundamentals does not equal easy, right? right. Um, I don't know the fundamentals of, uh, I don't know, building a damn bomb, right? I don't know the fundamentals of that, right? But it's probably not easy. And if I mess up, I can blow my damn self up. So you kind of got to think about that, right? You got to know exactly the the fundamentals. And what I found is that, uh, especially for people that's not tech savvy, people that's not um, used to this type of stuff, it makes A plus a lot easier. And just one uh, tip I would uh, say, if you're doing it in person, is try to go a little bit early. And like Cheyenne said, if you are studying and cramming, I would even say the night before, the night before the day of you're messing up. You are, I would say skim over some stuff. Okay. What was this? What was that? Okay. That's cool. Cause what's going to happen is the way the universe is you're going to cram and somehow you're going to find some brand new shit, something that you've never seen before. And you're like, man, what is this? And you're going to focus on that, focus on that, focus on that. And then when you get inside the test room, it's, they're not going to ask it. <laughs> something that you do need is not going to be there. Um, so if you, Cheyenne, if you had to tell somebody or give somebody some guidance, would you tell them to take it in person or would you tell them to take it at the house? What, what, what would you say? It would be another one of those things where you need to know how you test um, okay. because it's different for everybody. Um, in my case, when I was driving there, because I was, because um, I took my first three tests 
in, in LA. So it was still an hour drive. Nice. Um, yeah. So if you're somebody who gets freaked out by driving, consider yeah. trying to do it at home if possible. I did not do mine at home because at the time I had a roommate, I had a cat, I still have a cat, but I have a door now I can lock her out with. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I lived on top of a freeway, <laughs> um, you know, in, in an apartment building where there's pe- my neighbors are fighting all the time. My internet wasn't very secure. Like, so it's all about your circumstances. So if you're somebody who needs, who has more, has less anxiety at home and you are able to do it at home, I would say probably do that, but also keep in mind that you're going to have to sit differently than you normally do <laughs> mm-hmm. um, because the, the, the uh, frame is square. It's like, I don't know how much I'm at these edges <laughs> uh, right now, mm-hmm. but um, like, cause I have a tendency to like lean when I'm thinking real hard. Right. Maybe means I need to work out my abs more, but either way, um, <laughs> bad posture. Uh, <laughs> you can't have any part of you outside of the screen. Mm-mm. none of it like you, they need to basically be able to see your hands they need to be able to see everything even if you're not doing anything so um and in my case you're not allowed to make any noises either so it, yeah. that's i remember yeah. i remember we talked about that and that was one thing that i uh that i was worried about with you uh mm-hmm. just just because i didn't know i was just like i don't know because i know that's one of the things they don't want you to um and don't be scared of this gang anybody that's saying don't be scared it is what it is but um, like literally when she says no noise, no noise, uh, just like, you know, how you'll be taking a test and you'll try and say the question to yourself. That's a no go. You can't, you yep. literally can't no humming, no nothing. Um, mm-hmm. but you, I think you were cool doing your test though, right? Everything. Um, went, yeah, that's cause I got my accommodations. Like if they hear a baby screaming in the back, they said they might, they might disqualify you cause there's a baby screaming in the back. So like, I don't have no one. I'm just saying that's something that was, kind you know, of what you going through that actually, um, helped, uh, my other guy. Um, okay. cause I'm I was like, yeah, see if they got accommodations, blah, blah, blah. So what did they, what, what, how did they accommodate you? Like what, what did they, did they say it was cool that you could say stuff or what, what, how did they, what were the accommodations? Um, uh, my accommodations were more time in case I needed it because one okay. of my ticks, um, stops me from being able to read cause my head's stuck that way. So, okay. <laughs> um, or I won't be able to click because I've lost control of my hands. So they gave me more time in case that happens. Mm. Um, it, so far I haven't needed it, but, um, yeah. the point is, is that in case it happens, because I do start ticking more when I am testing, um, I was allowed to make noise because, well, I have Tourette's, right, 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 right. <laughs> um, and because I was at home that also let me read out loud because I have reading I'm dyslexic too. So, um, really quick, really quickly before I forget. So not even Tourette's, if you have any other type of, uh, disabilities or anything did comp t or did the testing center make you prove that like not yes. actually like have did you have to have like a doctor's note or yes. something wow yeah okay. it was yeah. a process that's why um that's why when you were saying in a lot of your videos like you need to be certified it from the time you start to the time you take that test within a month i'm like it's gonna take longer than that just to get my accommodations so <laughs> how long how long did it say uh the first time i went through it it took me like good three or four months to uh, just get my accommodations to take the test. Are you good? Is it, is it a, cause I think you already told me this, but I can't remember. Is it a one-time thing or you gotta do it every time? You have to do it every year. Um, okay. So okay it takes okay. you a year longer. I'll have to renew mine. Um, because I actually had to renew my accommodations when I moved. Gotcha. Because I went to in-person testing to home testing. So your in-person test will, or accommodations will not automatically approve you for your, um, home, at home tests. So I have another year to do it. Um, but you have to have, you are, have to already have all your doctor's notes. Like that's just the approval process. Right, um, right. You need to be able to have all the proof they need. You need one from like a doctor and a psych and you need to have a qualifying thing and it needs to be bad enough that a doctor says yes. Mm. Um, they wanted an entire history for like, I'm telling you, it's like, it's like having to get on SSI. It's like, <laughs> You have to have an entire history of it mm. to have them do it. It's really hard or not hard, but it's, it's long and it's arduous. And at least luckily I've gone through this before. So I'm just like, right. like that's part of being disabled. <laughs> <laughs>